finances in a miracle and healing and wholeness in uh, just stuff that the enemy has been allowing that you've maybe been allowing the enemy to lie to you about and um, I say allowing because I went through this prayer thing last night with some friends of mine and just saying hey I need you to pray for me whatever the Lord directs you just want you to sense what God's saying to you for me and I just need prayer and um, I realized I've been allowing the enemy to steal from me and to lie to me in some areas I just didn't realize. And uh, just simplicity of just saying, I just stand against that. And I Amen. cast that down in Jesus' name. And right. Something broke last night. I had a breakthrough last night. And I woke up this morning with this joy that I just I just can't explain it. And I just it's beautiful. And I just want that for you tonight. I believe the Lord for you in that way tonight for a breakthrough in your life. And I want to tell you about some breakthrough that happened in the Word of God in Exodus 14. And it's right where Jesus was about to part the Red Sea. And it looked impossible. It looked absolutely impossible. Pharaoh's armies were advancing. And Moses had the children of Israel. And they're standing there and they're just thinking, God, you've brought us all this way. And you've given us this new ground and these promises. And now we're standing here and maybe about to be annihilated and taken out by the enemy. And this verse came, uh, and, and the Lord came and spoke to them and said, I will fight for you. Yes, come on. I will fight for you. You need to be still. <coughs> we live in a, in, a, in a day and an age right now that it's just busy. We don't stand still for very long. To wait for an hour tonight felt like 40 years, right? I, just, I was in the back going, like, what do I do? Like, I've already, like, painted my nails. I've, like, prayed. I had a word. You know, it's just like, we, just don't, we don't like to wait. But sometimes God just needs us to wait. Yeah. To be still. Yeah. And so maybe that was his plan tonight. Yeah. Right. To Amen. just make us stop. To take a deep breath. Maybe you still haven't taken a deep breath tonight. But I just want to remind us that he fights for us. He knows where the enemy is attacking you. Yes. And he will fight for you. Yeah. Isaiah 43, it says, Fear not, for I have redeemed you, and I have called you by your name. You yes. are mine. Yes. When you walk through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through rivers, they will not overwhelm you. Yes. Whatever is overwhelming you tonight is not the Lord, because He says He does not harm us. Burn. This is a church on fire. I pray we don't have any fires tonight, but fires in the spirit are okay. Fires in life, they're good for us because it tests our faith, it builds our faith, it builds our character, it increases our perseverance to continue to move on. Because what it does is it says, you know what, I made it through that battle, I'm going to make it through the next one. I've made it through this thing, I'm going to make it through the next thing. And the same God who was with us in that fight and in that battle. says in the 
Him before. 